Hey YouTube, YouTube, what's up? It's your girl Queen Alchemy and I'm coming to you guys today with the reading for the sign of Libra um, for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2019, the last month in the year, you guys. Are you guys feeling, um, you know, optimistic about the new year? I hope so. Um, I'm going to be doing a... Um, vision board party um towards the end of december towards the end of the month i'm not going to say that it's going to actually be on december 31st but it's definitely going to be towards the end of the month um prior to that a couple of days before that i'm going to come on and let you guys know for the ones who are interested um what you're going to need to do your vision board for those who haven't been putting in the you know, planting the seeds, doing the manifestations, working on your vision board for no judgment, not at all. I want us all to win. So if you haven't done that, that's why I'm going to walk you through the steps of doing a vision board, okay, for 2020, because you know 2020 is going to be the shit, okay? It's going to be good for everybody. So I just want to let you guys know that. So yeah, stay tuned for that. You know, that'll be the next couple of weeks. I'll come on and let you guys know what you need to do the vision board, okay? If you're interested in a um, self-love protection or a healing candle, um, I personally do those. They're $10 flat and I'll never go up on the price on those. They'll always be $10. If you're interested in that, um, my information will be down in the description bar. Um, if you're interested in a spiritual coaching session or a personal tarot reading, everything, all my same information is going to be down below. If you have a business um, question or whatever, all my stuff is going to be down below. I'm trying to think, is there anything else? Oh, this is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, Libra? If this doesn't resonate with one part, then go to the next one. If none of them resonate with you, then go to another reader. There's some bomb-ass readers out here, okay? So let's get into the message. Let's start with the tarot. At the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Some of you guys may have that in your chart. Um, but this is progressive movement, okay? The Knight is the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck, but it's progressive. I like it. I like it. Personally, it's my favorite knight. Okay. I have Taurus strongly in my chart. Okay. So <laughs> I like um I like the Knight of Pentacles, but it's just slowly, whether it's in business. With your family, in your love life, in some facet of your life, the overall theme is just progression. It's, it's slow. It's like baby steps type of energy, okay, for some of you Libras. So the first two cards we have is the Five of Swords, clarified by the Moon card. So some of you guys are letting your guard down in a situation, um, whether it's with family, job, Whatever, maybe some of you guys have had your defenses up for a while. Um, maybe kind of like a chip on your shoulder. Um, in defense mode at times. And so now it's like this energy of releasing that energy or some, or maybe you, there was a situation where there was like, a few people are odds and now like everybody is letting their they swords down like okay we don't want to fight no more we don't want to take this shit into the next year with this same negative energy or whatever and possibly for some of you guys this um is energy is 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 being released because something was illuminated doesn't necessarily have to be secrets could be for some people take it how it resonates but this could be something that was illuminated to you, Libra. Like, okay, it's time for me to let stuff go. It's time for me to stop holding on things that no longer serve me. Um, emotions, feelings, resentment, whatever it is for some of you guys. So it's just like releasing that energy 
because it didn't serve you to start with. But, you know, we're human. So don't be too hard on yourself, okay? But whatever it is, some of you might have got, um, you know, like I said in, you know, my other readings, like the universe, God, source, whoever you deem as your higher, you know, source speaks very um, subtle to us. So it could be a message that we might have received in our dream. For some of you guys, this was um, something you received in your dream where you know you needed to let go of something. You know you needed to let go of some tension, some hurt, some pain, resentment, some, some bullshit that you have been holding on to. So some of you guys, you received through a dream. Okay, Libra? So you're releasing that tension. For some of you guys, this is not just you. It's a group of people who basically have the same energy. Okay? But for some, it's for you guys. Because at the end of the day, with the Unnecessary Worries card, release the burdens of worries by giving them to God for healing and solutions. It's unnecessary to be bothered by things that you can't even control, especially not being able to control them with other people. Release it. It's unnecessary because everything is all it's going to do is a lot of times weaken your immune system, weaken your spirit, weaken your mind, weaken your emotional state. So let it go. It's no point in holding on to anything that's not going to serve you, Libra. OK, um, there's a higher power at play. Four, four. It's the force to me is, you know, the energy of like your spirit, whoever surrounds you, whether it's whoever you pray to, whoever you source, whoever you meditate, you know what I'm saying? Whoever you connect with, rather, whether it's your ancestors, your ascended masters, you, the universe, whoever you deem, but the higher power is with you, Libra, okay? And they want you to release whatever this is. And you are releasing it, okay? And you're going to feel a huge release from you, from yourself. And they dream. Unnecessary worries. Higher power is there for you, okay? We have the king of pentacles next. Let me like my sage. We have the King of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, Capricorn, Tur Taurus, Virgo. So definitely, some of you guys are dealing with um, an Earth sign very closely, or um, you guys have this definitely in your chart. Okay. But the King of Pentacles is clarified by the Three of Cups. So the King of Pentacles is, you know, look. What can I say the word? <laughs> luxury look like he's luxurious like i don't know you know like he has money like he has it going on like i'm not saying he pimping it like that you know <laughs> he's not some of y'all i mean some some king of pinnacles but this is just somebody who got it going i think he's just very well off financially he's very grounded he's very stable like earth signs are known for being grounded so he's a very grounded energy right he might be, for some of you guys, with the Three of Cups clarifying, this is just somebody who's feeling themselves and somebody who wants to have fun, who wants to party. Maybe they've been in a shell lately. So now they just want to get out and have some fun and just relax and maybe not even just partying, like clubbing out, but just having a good time for the month of December. It's the holidays. You just want to hang out with your friends, with your family that you may not have seen in a while. Um takes to have some drinks, okay? Have a couple of drinks, some libations, okay? And you might just want to just turn up and just have a good time and enjoy the holidays, Libra, okay? Because you're feeling like this. Some of you guys might have got a raise, some unexpected money, something like that to where you're feeling this real king of pinnacles. Shit, I'm just sitting back. I'm have some people come over for the holidays. We're going to have a good time. We're going to turn up, you know? Because you got that little bit of money, you know, so you feeling like, hey, I can have me, I can afford to have some fun, Libra, you know, whether you're a man or a woman, okay? Doesn't matter, because this can very well be like Queen of Pentacles energy, doesn't matter. But it says, easy does it. Your health, happiness, and abundance require a gentle approach to life and work. Don't be so hard on yourself. And don't go too hard. With this energy, Three of Cups, don't go too hard. Of course, enjoy yourself. You know, live. Don't be too uptight, but at the same time, 
take it easy, okay? Take it easy for the month of December. Have fun. Turn up, you know. Don't turn up too, too, too much, okay? Especially, you know, because some of us are getting up there in age, you know. But, um, you know, take it easy. Take it easy. That's what I would say. And be flexible. They, the next card is flexible with 19 breaking down to a 10, okay? So you want to make sure that you're... For some of you guys, this is like making sure that... It's like while you have this newfound freedom, this, this release, you've had this dream that you know or maybe several dreams where you know you have to do certain things. You just don't want to go too hard. So it's just basically just being flexible, being able to listen and hear other people out too, Libra, okay? For the month of December, you want to make sure that you're hearing other people out, that you just don't have this energy of, I've had this insight, I've had these downloads, and I know, no, 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 just take it easy, okay? Okay, just take it easy, Libra. Um, because it's like you guys are the scale, the balance, right? So you just want to make sure you're just taking it easy, okay? I'm sorry, that's all I see for that. So with the three of pentacles, this is talks about teamwork coming together. For some of you guys, I'm not going to lie, Libra, some who rising, this is three third party situations. So some of you guys may be dealing with that, but I feel like some of you guys, it may be like a dating situation where like you're starting to date somebody and they were already kind of dealing with somebody. So it's not serious. So this is not something to worry about for some of you guys. Okay. You know, this is not a personal reading. So, you know, but um, with the three of pentacles, this is like teamwork coming together, right? Balancing the scale out. This is your card, Libra justice. Okay. This energy of working together, being open to new ideas, being flexible, hello, being flexible, being open, um, being willing to come together and, you know, create some ideas, create some special um, memories with the Three of Cups. It's going to give you a lot of balance in your life, okay? It's going to... It's going to just like release a lot of tension, a lot of anxiety, a lot of that, you know, shit that don't serve you. Okay, Libra, if that makes sense. Be open to work. Are you guys already going to be in the energy of being, most of you guys, of being able to um, come together and work and, and be like on some teamwork energy? Own your divine power. Replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment. Okay, so for some Libras, this has been your one of your downfalls is being a people pleaser. Okay, and for the month of December and moving forward, you want to release that energy on your divine power, but be balanced in it. Don't be like overly like. Um, I want to say like defensive for some of you guys, for some, take it as it resonates, okay? Assertiveness can be done in a way where it's subtle, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be like outright, you know, being a bitch, being a whatever, you know, if you need, if you feel like you need to be that way, then teach his own, it's your free will, but it doesn't have to be like this, it, it like that, like you can be subtle, you can like establish boundaries and things like that without you know, making someone feel some type of way, okay? Um, but it's up to you. It depends on how you want to do it, Libra, okay? I'm trying to see if I see anything else. Some of you guys, if this is a third party situation that you're dealing with, there's going to be justice for you. And <clears throat> OK, for some of you guys, it is a third party situation. Um, they're saying that there's going to be justice in it. OK, 
that everything is going to work out for you. But you need to replace your codependent people pleasing um, with assertiveness and empowerment. Okay. Don't do anything for anyone that you don't feel comfortable doing anymore or you've never felt comfortable doing Libra. If this is you and you're dealing with a hold on now. If this is you and you're dealing with a situation, a third party situation, and you've been knowing about it and you've been going along and get along, I want you to stop that. I most definitely don't even want you to. I'm recording this video on December 30th. I'm sorry, November 30th. I don't even want you taking it into the month of December, let alone 2020. Don't do it, Libra. Let it go. Don't do it. If someone is not going to respect you and you're not enough for them, then leave their ass in the dust, period. Point blank. It's, please, just do it, okay? Own your divine power. Here and now, 32 breaking down to a five is about fives is having to do with change. Where do you see yourself? Where do you want to see yourself? If this is your situation, where do you want to see yourself in the future? Do you want to stay stagnant in this? Do you want time that just laps by and you're not happy and you're not feeling supported and you're not feeling, you know, content and at peace? No, you want you want these things. So let this go. You're going to get justice. You're going to get your fair, you know, life, but you have to stand in your own divine power, Libra. Hold on. Okay, Libra, you have to stand in your own divine power. You have to stand in your strength. You have to know what you deserve. Okay. You have to know that you're a God, that you're a goddess, man or a woman. It doesn't matter. And you know you deserve the very best. For the month in December, I want you to work on some self-care. As a matter of fact, was this at the that was at the bottom of the deck? Okay, revealing your true self. Um, but I want you to do some self-care type of exercises, okay? Um, rituals rather, okay? If you want to email me, that's fine, and I can let you know. All right, Libra. So that's the message. Let me see. Do I see anything else? On your divine power, easy does it, unnecessary worries. Okay, Libra, I love you guys. Peace. Ashe.